Okay, so what we're looking at here is the logic circuit for the piece liner. Um, I've got a simple uh, circuit which I've been using in, in, in all my videos lately is this uh, circuit with a brake timing switch and everything feeds in off a single push button. So you hit that to start, hit that to stop without fail. It feeds us into three timers, like I say, of different lengths. So we've got one of three, one of six, and one of nine. So that's one and a half, three, and six seconds, I think. Yeah. And each of them has an output and an inverted output. So I've just gone and selected this and then gone around and selected a whole bunch of lights. Selected this one and it'll do the opposite. And then obviously by alternating between this one and this one for certain groups, you can get out of sync uh, patterns going, even though the actual pulse is even to all of them. So I may as well just show you what I mean. I haven't done anything in here. so First thing is the collar, the collar blinks. Um, second thing is I did the engine bits here, they're flashing away as is the conduit there, that conduit's flashing. So these little yellow pods here, they're flashing away. So, so is this bit. Um, let's see, down in the neck, all the lights that run along the inside, so the greens and the blues there, they all change. Depending on latency, you get a cleaner effect as well. So red lights, blue lights, they're all in time. And obviously we've got some yellow lights here, they're in time too. Some of them are on a different timing circuit. You can notice that they're not actually blinking on off, on off evenly. So if I just sort of go along here, you get to see some of the effect. So it's really going for it. If you get in close and you allow it to load, you get a lot of different lighting effects coming on here. So there's that. I also did the top here, if you can see there. So that highlight is completely different, depending on the timing. Sometimes the timings overlap, so you get a different look. Also, it accentuates the weapons as well, which is quite nice. If I come down to the intakes here, we've got a completely different pattern going on here. So there's an output, a knot, from two different timings alternating in groups to get that effect there. A distance it just looks like a busy fusion crunching scoop. Uh, a couple of different wing styles. One of them I didn't do so but this one was designed to look like a kind of trickling plasma. It just blinks a little bit. And then if I come underneath, is this the one I didn't touch? Yeah, that's the one I didn't touch. I wanted to show this to some peoples, so I don't want to spend all night just doing that. As you can see, there's another one down here as well. So it's just a bit of a disco, really. Psychedelic spaceship with logic. So yeah, that's pretty much it, and as I just demonstrate the logic for you, so if I now just go and shut this down, that'll turn off the clock, which means no more pulses. Pink, and it's all done. So we can have a look at it, and it's sort of back in its normal state-ish. <laughs> So there it is. I'm going to give it a save and wait for the peoples. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Less cool is this ship for you than us. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who doesn't, don't read this partially covered plant. Oh, sorry, mate. Shit. <laughs> I can see colors, goddammit. I said partially. Oh, just right. different colors. Yeah, just some colors not as well as others. Exactly. Oh, it's pretty badass. I <laughs> admit.
And the nice thing with Tom is if I ever have to decide, you know, like look at purple and blue or something that could be either one to me, I can usually bet safely on purple. <laughs> oh, Tom, I like the almost Chevrolet emblem you have on the back of the ship. <laughs> All you need is the slants and you have it. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> right? <laughs> How the engines almost make the same freaking symbol, like as a collective whole. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of those engines, by the way. They are nice. In okay. pixel, they have yeah. a kind of chroma look to them. I don't know. I don't know how they look in realistic. In realistic, they still look pretty damn good. So it's nice. I like the bridge. Mm. Yeah. I like oh, the ship. if you want to see the logic, all the logic is above the Mobius chair in the top. You'll see it all in the ceiling. And it's not that, it's just a clock with three fuses of different lengths. A three, a six, and a nine. And then I put a knot off the end of each of those. Oh, there we go. So I could have a one or a zero off of each. And then you alternate, do you know what I'm saying? Wow. So yeah. then you can have everything sequencing and overlapping. That's insane. So all the lights on this entire thing is running off those three yeah, clocks. Yeah, that's it. There's one clock and three fuses, is what I well, call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. Fair point. That's impressive. That's meta. Credit that to lot. Credit go. All credit goes to Schema, mate. I just what the what the the, the tools, yeah. man. The tools. <laughs> the tools. Yep. I love the fact that you've got like sub style like uh, conning tower planes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheers, man. I'm really into that at the moment. I really like those con towers. Not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> the new ship started it all, and here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo. It's true, though. This thing's awesome. So wait, Tom, is this your third ship review? Pretty much. Nice. Wow. I think it is, and I think you've done them all as well. <laughs> yes, I would. <laughs> you do indeed. Because <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. I've, it was funny this ship because it's like started off as a box and the challenge was <laughs> the challenge was try to hide the box <laughs> you know and it kind of yeah. worked you can still see it there if you know what you're looking for it is right. square you know but my chat the challenge was to try and hide the box without making it a different shape which sounds like a catch 22 <laughs> yeah new things we need to do a uh, round robin again yeah we do Tom, you need to get in on that. Mm -hmm. I will, actually. I will. I've got plenty of time for stuff like that now. Yeah, I'm thinking... I think we'll do a round robin, like, tomorrow or something. I don't know exactly yeah, when, but work. we'll figure it out. Hmm. But, uh, yeah. Tomorrow evening would be easy. Maybe we'll, we'll do a multi-stream on it. Morning. <laughs> got Yelby's <laughs> fish flying around in the background. It's yeah. cool. He's trying Yelby's to compete with your luminescence. I mean... I know, <laughs> I know. I was I was with him when we were deciding what to bring to the lineup. <laughs> it was fun. So yeah, Chunk, oh, cheers uh, for uh, reviewing my shit, bro. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna give you one little critique. Okay, the here we go. Person. Here we go. I'm sitting down. The very front of your ship. Uh huh. All the way to the front. I'll yeah. The black panel where your gun is. Yeah. Look at the bottom right, and you'll see there's a block missing. Uh <laughs> There's a <laughs> there's a block. There's a block missing. No way. Thank you, mate. That's all I've got to worry about. That's awesome. Epic, yeah, guys. Epic. Like, like people are always like, "How do you find this stuff?" I'm like, "It just sticks out to me." You know? mm -hmm. Like example, random one block missing. Mm -hmm. yeah, one block out of seventy thousand or something. I don't know what yeah. it is actually. What is it? 61,000, something like that. Well, I got good at it because I kept looking at Delmont ships, and he doesn't do it very often, but he does it in the weirdest places, so... It's freaking true. <laughs> you should have seen the original Sylvana before I got back at it. Mm -hmm. And, like, the Libra. I found a few on that The freaking Libra. <laughs> yeah, I... This I freaking took the auctioneer to, to the next level, and we have a refit after that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but with that, I think we'll call it here awesome to see the peace liner all lighty uppy and awesomeness <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Merry the only Christmas. logical way it could be taken to the next level it, yeah. it 
literally the only logical way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got the fun. <laughs> oh, we're and on that retarded <laughs> level of bombshell, I think we'll call it here. Thanks for showing me the ship, Tom. No worries. And for everybody watching, thanks for watching. And as always, we will see you again next time. <laughs>